What is up YouTube, Max Lack Strings here. Today I've got a video comparison of the two most popular Cascade helmets, the Cascade R and the Cascade CPXR. Let's get started. So first I'm gonna start out with the CPXR. Uh, this is my own personal CPXR. It has a green chin on the bottom and all white outer shell with a Max Lack Strings head wraps uh, helmet wrap, which is really sick. I love how it looks. Um, I got this maybe a year ago or so. Um, it's got Max Lack Strings up here. And it's got the stick of my logo that comes all the way around to the other side. Um, really like this uh, carbon fiber look to it as well. Uh, so you can go check out a better view of it in my other videos. Uh, so I'm going to talk about this. Uh, this is the first uh, really revolutionary helmet that Cascade came out with besides the Cascade Pro 7, which had the Pro 7 technology. Um, this is definitely a cool helmet and uh, I really enjoyed the time that I used with it. The next is the Cascade R. I, I got this this summer when I played for Chick-fil-A Lacrosse in Percival, Virginia. Um, it's got a red chrome face mask to it, a red chin strap, matte gray with Chick-fil-A decals that you can check out in my other uh, Chick-fil-A Lacrosse video uh, with some red decals up here. A uh, really, really cool looking helmet. Uh, I really liked uh, the time that I played with it and I really like how our team looked when we wore them. Definitely a really cool look to it. The first comparison I'm going to do is the protection. So they both have the same protection, uh, which is the, called the 7 technology. Uh, Cascade came up with this, like I said, with the Pro 7. And the goal of it, let's see if you can see it in here. Um, there's little gray cylinders inside of the helmet that are, are at the top of at the top of the plastic of the helmet and underneath the padding of the helmet so you don't actually feel the cylinders on your head. Um, and what, what happens is when you get a check on your head, it disperses the shock of the, uh, the initial contact across the whole helmet so you don't get one blow on one specific area which causes uh, concussions. Personally, never had a concussion, but some people do still get concussions in, the, in these helmets. Um, obviously, not all helmet uh, technology is perfect, but it's really worked well for a lot of lacrosse players. And it is also in the CPXR. Uh, so protection, they both equal out the same, um, so no, not much of a comparison there. The next thing I'm going to compare is the comfort. Uh, so the CPXR has gotten great reviews on its comfort. It's really easy to slide on. As you can see, um, right when I put it on, it's easy, and I can also adjust it in the back. I'll show you guys after I take this off. Um, I put it on, it's really comfortable, I don't feel it's not a burden to have on and it's not really annoying, uh, which is really great. It's also got these great ear pads right here that are really squishy and comfortable, so they adjust to anyone's head and contour, which makes it really, really comfortable to wear. Here's the adjusting in the background. Uh, I mean, in the back, the Cascade R also has this. Uh, you can squeeze to make it tighter and squeeze this gray piece to loosen it just like that. Um, the Cascade R fits a little bit more like a football helmet, uh, which is a really tight feel to it, but it's really secure. So as you saw, it took a little bit more force to put on the helmet, uh, but it's got a really, really nice snug feel to it. Um, it I've, had, I've heard players complain about um, getting small headaches because it's just a really tight feel to it and there's nothing you, you can really do about it besides adjusting the back which makes it looser, but also makes it wobble around on your head a little bit. Um, I personally don't mind um, how this fits. Um, I've never gotten a headache in it, and I really uh, enjoy wearing it. Uh, so I'm gonna say the, the CPXR wins on the comfort. The next thing I'm gonna compare is the style of the helmets. So I'm gonna start with the CPXR. Uh, this really revolutionized the style of lacrosse helmets made them look very sleek um, and very stylish as well compared to big bulky football helmets. Um, so it's got a nice really sharp angle right here um, and it left kind of the back of your head open which is kind of a cool look but some face off guys complain about it because uh, when they're getting really close in scrums they would sometimes get hit back there. Uh, but personally as, a, an, as an attackman and midfielders I've never really heard them complain about it. Uh, it's got a nice, the face mask is designed well. Uh, to have you have you look right th uh, through these um, two slots right here, and uh, definitely really cool look, and great for personalizing. Uh, you can put decals pretty much anywhere. So 
Cascade CPXR has got a great look, but my personal favorite, and this is all personal preference, obviously, so, um, but my personal favorite is the Cascade R. Just the, the bulky kind of, um, bulky but sleek look to it. Um, it's got like a, a bunch of aggressive angles in it. As you can see, um, it's got this wing right here, which the Cascade CPXR also had, but this is more of a kind of a juts out, and it's all kind of compact, but it's got a really aggressive look to it. Just by holding it on my fist here, you can see it's almost looking down, like, um, like down on someone. So it's gotten a really intimidating and aggressive look, which I really love about it. And I love how, I love the look of it on players. I've got to say, Cascade R wins on style. The next thing I'm going to compare is the price. Uh, so since the CPXR has been out a longer time and it also started out as a lower price, I believe, uh, it's $200 new um, and that and they comes in a bunch of different colors, uh, but you can also get them used and you can sometimes get really good deals on them for $150, um, things like that. So um, it has a lower price than the Cascade R, which is $250, and if you want to get it customized, it can be up to $260 or $70. $270. Um, and then this one customizes $210, $220. Um, so overall it's about $50 more expensive, but uh, if you're really looking to invest that much money in it, I think it's definitely worth it. Overall, my favorite helmet is the Cascade R because of its new look and technology that it has. Um, and definitely a really, really great helmet. If you're looking uh, to get a new helmet, my personal preference is the Cascade R. Uh, just because of its style and look to it, uh, which is a big deal to the cross players. Um, so yeah, that's about it guys, and let me know in the comments which is your favorite. Um, so thanks for watching, please comment, rate, and subscribe.